Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into something super exciting that is fine tuning the DeepSeq R1 model on custom data set using Google Colab. Uh, whether you are a beginner or an experienced AI enthusiast, this video will guide you step by step through the entire process. Let's get started. Before we actually get into the fine tuning the LLM, here is a brief about the technical prerequisites or uh, setup requirements. First, we will see Python. First, we will see Python libraries and frameworks. The Python libraries and frameworks that will be required for fine-tuning LLM are uh, first is Unsloth. This package makes fine-tuning large language model models like Llama 3, Mistral, and uh, Gemma 2x faster using 70% less memory and with no degradation in accuracy. Uh, next is Torch. This package is fundamental building block for deep learning with PyTorch. It provides powerful tensor library uh, similar to NumPy, but with the added advantage of uh, GPU acceleration, which is crucial thing when it, it comes to working with LLMs. Next, ne uh, next are transformers. Uh, transformer, transformers are uh, powerful and popular open source library uh, for natural language processing. It provides easy to use inference for a wide range of state of art pre-trained pre models. As pre-trained uh, models uh, from the base of any fine tuning task, uh, this package helps in easily uh, accessing trained models. And next is TRL package. The TRL package in Python is a specialized library for reinforcement learning. With the transformer model, uh, it built on top of a hugging face transformer library, uh, leveraging its trend to uh, make RL with the transformers more accessible and efficient. Next, we will see com computational requirements. Fine tuning model is technique to make the LLM response more structured and uh, domain specific without the actual performing a total per parameter training. Uh, however, the process of fine-tuning uh, bigger LLM is still not uh, feasible for most of the average computer hardware. As well, uh, the trainable parameters along with the actual LLM are stored in the VRAM or, or the GPU. And the huge size of LLM pose a major obstacle in achieving that. So, for the sake of this article, we will be fine-tuning a small LLM which is DeepSeq R1 distill with uh, 4.74 billion parameters. This LLM requires uh, at least 8 to 12 GB of VRAM and make it accessible to all the people. Uh, we will be using Google Colab's uh, free T4 GPU, which has 16 GB of VRAM. Uh, next, we will see data pre preparation strategies. Uh, for fine-tuning LLM, we need structured and uh, task-specific data. Uh, there are uh, many data preparation strategies, uh, be, be it scrapping social media platforms, uh, websites, books or research papers. For this project, we will be using the datasets library to uh, load the data present in Hugging Face Hub. We will be using Alpaca uh, dataset from Hugging Face. Now, let's jump in the code. Uh, first of all, open your uh, Google Colab notebook, then uh, change, then change runtime runtime type uh, to T4 GPU and save it. Then connect to T4. First, we need to install necessary packages. We will use the un unsloth library, which is optimized for faster line fine tuning. Uh, code for Installing the package is pip install unsloth. Let's run this command. This command, ins this command installs unsloth along with all its dependencies, including PyTorch, transformers, and other essential libraries. Unsloth is designed to make fine tune up to 2x faster, which is huge time saver. Great. We have installed Unsloth library. Next, uh, next, we will initialize DeepSeq R1 model and its tokenizer. Here is a code for it. Let's break down this. We are using 
first language model class from unslot then uh, we have initialized model length then maximum sequence length is set set to 2048 uh, which is maximum sequence length the model can handle then we have loaded uh, model in 4 bit uh, quantized model this saves memory and this this is especially useful if uh, you are working with limited gpu resources let's run this code nice we have initialized dipsy car one model and its tokenizer uh, now we will add uh, lora that is low rank adaption to the model lora allows us to fine tune large models effectively by only updating a small number of parameters the code for lora adaption ad lora adaption is here let's break down this code r r is set to 64 uh, r is a rank of the lora matrices a higher rank allows for more flexibility but increases the number of trainable parameters target modules specifies which layer of the model will be adapt adapted using lora lora alpha is so, uh, lora alpha is set to 32 lora alpha controls the scaling of the lora weights uh, lora dropout is set to 0 0.05 uh, lora dropout is the dropout rate for lora la lora uh, layers uh, use gradient checkpoints is set to unslot uh, which optimizes memory usage uh, during training let's run this code now that we have set the lora adapted adapters on the pre-trained LLM we can move towards structuring the data that will be used for training the model in order to structure the data we have to specify the prompt in a such a way that it contains the input instructions and response the structure of the prompt is the here is a structure of prompt it contains instruction input and response next next we have created a function that will properly structure all the data in alpaca prompt uh, this is a function this is a function for it its function name is formatting prompt function we define prompt template that structures the data into instruction input and response the formatting prompt function function takes the data set and formats each example using the template this is a template and we also append the eos token that is eos token uh, to the each example to signal the end of the text we will run both these cells now we have to load the data set which will be used for fine tuning the model in our case uh, it's uh, it's alpaca clean data set you uh, here is code for loading the data set uh, we load the alpaca data set using load data set function from the data set library and then uh, we apply our formatting prompt function to the data set using the map function this processes the data set in batches making it ready for training let's run this cell great our data is ready for training now next we will set up the trainer which will handle the training process here is a code for setting a trainer this is trainer let's break down this code we are using sft trainer from trl library which optimizes which which is optimized for supervised fine tuning then per device train batch size is set to 2 meaning each gpu will process two examples at a time 
then gradient accumulation steps are set to 4 which means gradients are accumulated over 4 steps before updating the model. Uh, maximum steps are set to 120 means the model will train for 120 steps. Remaining all parameter uh, keep remaining all parameters as it is and run the cell. Great. Our now our trainer is ready for training. Uh, finally, we will start the training process. Here is a code for starting training process. This line kicks off the training process. The model will now fine tune on Al Alpaca data set for 120 steps. Let's run this command. Guys, see, training of our model is started. And you will see the training loss decreases as the model learns, learns from the data. At step 2, the training loss was 2.375100. And at step 3, it, uh, it, it came to 2.05530. And at step 4, it came to 2.1196600. Here, uh, at step 4, it is little bit increased. But at uh, step 5, it's again started to decrease. So, uh, you will see the training loss decreases as the model learns from the data. Guys, this process will take uh, too much time for fine tuning. Uh, I will show the code for infer inferencing the fine tuned model. Here is a code for in inferencing the fine tuned model. After, after this process is done, fine tuning process is done, just run this command and you will see the output. Let in this code, we enable uh, faster enable. We enable faster inferencing using fast language model for inference and we prepare the input by formatting it, formatting it using the same prompt template. This is same prompt, uh, same prompt template and uh, the model generates a response. Here is output is equal to model dot generate. This generates a response. Then uh, we decode it using the tokenizer. Here is tokenizer dot bash decode. And that's it. You will successfully fine tune the uh, DeepC R1 model on custom data set using Google Colab. I will, I will provide you a GitHub link for this code in my description box. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more AI and machine learning content. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.